and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora Dragons to start off rank up Sunday. This is where we go back and replay um, four decks that we did really well with throughout the week. These are all decks that we went 4-1 or 5-0 with earlier in the week. This was one that we went 5-0 with, but we have to make a change. Unfortunately, poor Warchefs, no longer very good being a 1-3 now instead of a 2-3. That's a huge, huge change. So we got to replace it. So we're going to try Tiari the Traveler being a 2-2. I think that's maybe a little bit better than the 1-3, and it gives the permanent uh, plus 0, plus 2 support that could help out Fiora or um, your Taric or your Screeching Dragon, that kind of stuff. I definitely wish we could still play War Chefs, but because that 3 health is so good for your support. Um, unit, but you know, we're not in in those days anymore. So let's try out Tiari. Let's see how this card does um, Besides that we basically have just like a, a mid-rangey Demacia support deck that the opponent is like You know trying to take down your Fiora and your Taric and all that kind of stuff and and your Mench of the Stones And then while they're worried about those then we have Radiant Guardian and the dragons at the top end that can uh, take over Especially when you have all these single combats and concerted strikes, we're going the full six copy of those so that we have a card like in Inviolus Vox. I've been mispronouncing that name. When we have like an Inviolus Vox that can just create more dragons for us, that's pretty awesome. Um, so then we can just kind of, we can just have too many dragons and overwhelm the opponent with dragons. All right, so that's, so that's what we got. Let's try uh, Fiora Dragons with Tiari, and we'll see how this does. So we're gonna go play a course in ranked. It's rank up Sunday. So we're starting at 107. I guess that's the number of LP points we have. We just made masters rank yesterday. So we're starting here. We'll see where we finish up the entire day. I'm trying to get those three, two, and better records. Uh, this is a good hand to mulligan. Do I want to keep one mentor of the stones? Not really. They kill mentor of the stones super easily. Let's just send it back. Yuck. <laughs> hey, Gohan, absolutely. Welcome back. So we got our dragonling, which is now a dragon. And is very happy about it, all dancing. Well, I really wish I would have kept Mentor of the Stones, because I have a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> I mean, Single Combat and Concerted Strike are both good spells, but if that's all you have and you don't have any units, maybe not as good. Just the one Aurelian Soul, to just have a, a big top end card. Cool. I will just also pass. I know I could have played the Mentor of the Stones, but I like them wasting their turn as well. We will just both waste turns. Never lost a fair game. So I'm definitely expecting. I mean, I guess this thing's gonna die anyway. So like, so I'm expecting make it rain. That thing's gonna die anyway. So trade single combat, kind of, for Make It Rain. Kind of. Also takes a damage there. Something for all. So do I want? I can either have my dragon have three health or two health. Go with three health. Ouch. All or nothing. 
getting all the spells. Our 13 spell deck. We got half of the spells in our entire deck in our first 25% of the deck. <laughs> oh man. This is a really, really bad game. Let's have nothing but spells. This is crazy. Draw every concerted strike. Hey, something to do. Almost every, almost every single combat. So I can't really stop Leviathan right now. <laughs> I know we could use, we could could have spent ten mana use both concerted strikes to try to take down Twisted Fate on the Mentor of the Stones because they definitely wouldn't just kill. Definitely wouldn't just kill the Mentor of the Stones in response or anything. You know, they just have so many good cards in hand that they're just like, what, what should I do? My opponent's played nothing this whole game. I have all these extra spells. Six mana. This game's over. Well, that game was really bad. Okay. All right, so we can see, we just saw what happens whenever you have no units whatsoever. So we kind of need, we should probably keep some units. That's probably a good idea. Um, I mean, I would I would be like keeping all of these if this was War Chefs. Um, so I guess, yeah, we're keeping all these. The only thing I'm, I'm thinking about maybe getting rid of is the Mentor of the Stones. I'm thinking about trading out Mentor of the Stones. Yeah, with us, like we don't have the attack token on turn three. Okay, well, we'll get Mentor of the Stones anyway. So... It's a little awkward where it is right here, and, and you know, it's super small. Um, but let's try. Hopefully no, like, make it rain. Alright, we got Tiari on turn two. First time playing Tiari. Looks like Tiari is just gonna. I guess it's just gonna trade with Legion Grenadier. They'll never see it coming. Stay in the path. Yeah. And we just got a block. Run while you can. Speak, stars. Speak, I so we'll have Mentor the Stones here, and then I can <clears throat> barrier the Mentor the Stones, and then attack and turn the Sprite Seal Protector. Oh man, that's a that's a high roll. Yep. That's why I wanted to mulligan to the stones. Originally. My shield is yours. I have my orders. Just imagine if we had War Chefs and we could have just blocked the 2-1 and kept War Chefs alive. That would have been cool. <clears throat> Alright, well, rocky start to our rank up Sunday. We've had everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. But we can turn it around. Alright, we do have the attack token on turn 3 this time. I like that. 
We'll see how the Tiari does this time. Didn't really get a good look at it last time. I'm just having to go in and immediately block. So I like I like trading. I know we have a Tiari, but I like trading because the one health things against Bilgewater, as we just saw with Mega Rain, they're very vulnerable. And we can do this. Don't stand in my way. And uh, that can definitely be rough. Always two steps ahead. They're two drops bigger than mine. Again, War Chefs would be able to just bounce off here if they play something else that we would want to challenge. Or they play something else I want to challenge. Okay, there we go. That's good. All right. Well. Tiari still did pretty well. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Can we just get back War Chefs? Ugh, it's such a big downgrade. Alright, anyway. I'll just pass. Don't really need to play this Bright Seal Protector. Alright, so now we're not going to Zenith Blade. I was kind of planning on Zenith Blading. Um, but now, you know, with Ravenous Flock being able to take this out, definitely don't want to Zenith Blade anymore. So at least the Dragon was a 2 for 1. Mm. And then they got a, a 2 for 1 right back, so... Able to refill their hands. So they've used two ravenous flocks. I rarely forget and never forgive. This is our confidence. gonna start here. We'll see what they do. Speak, stars. I'll mentor Speak, the stones. By my honor, you must die. Deal me in. I mean, I do want to play. Who says I don't see? Do want to play this concerted strike? Water is mine and mine alone. Okay, I guess I should have played the Concerted Strike. I forgot about that thing leveling up. Now it's a little too late, because now they can have Mega Rain. And respond with that. Let them eat souls. Oh God. I should have Concerted Strike the Game Plank in response there. I, I really regret not doing that. Right now. I really regret not doing that right now. Hang them by their entrails. Well, that is a good card. The viewer that is. Or the Off Yeah, like so I get repost. Such unrefined style. Should I have Fiora level up? No. 
Yeah, I know Rav I know Ravenous blocks a card. We'll still get one additional dragon after this. The Fiora the Fiora and the, the Bright Seal Protector are dead. Right? I think they're dead. I guess so yeah, I guess I won't have repost anymore, will I? I was thinking I was still gonna have repost, but okay, screeching dragon's good. They've already played two Ravenous Flocks. It's not super, super likely they have another. And yes, R Riptide Rex is an option. This is the best possible card, so I guess that's why they have it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with the Zenith Blade. Same matchup. Let's try again. I right, definitely really like Pale Cascade. We get we've seen Tarek for the first time. Nothing like the stink of blood. We had a lot better I mean we had a good curve last time. With our one, two, three, this this game not so much. It's been happening happening a lot with us playing these games today, of just not doing stuff. Okay, I get to do something. All hands on deck. By my honor, you must die. Let's get to it. I'm not gonna be doing any blocking. Wait till next turn, play Tarek, play Zenith Blade. Beauty and life. Or do I just pill Cascade here? Get a draw two in. There's plenty of killing left. Uh, Zenith Blade, I'm not drawing a card. The Zenith Blade does buff up the health of both of these two. Pale Cascade, I get to draw two cards. To protect all. So we're gonna go with the draw two cards. Try me. Oh god. Never submit. So challenging here with the Jagged Butcher, because um, that's going to have Fiora go back to being a 3-3 again. And, um, so like, well, I guess Fiora will be damaged right here, but then at the end of the round won't be damaged anymore.
All right, gonna play this one as the first card for turn. Um, so I didn't draw it, which means that the other card they stole had to have been the Zenith Blade. And then, yeah, they, they missed with the Yordle Grifter. Or no, they didn't miss, because they got the Warning Shot. So no, they didn't miss. So no, so they have two They have two of my cards. Never mind, they didn't, they didn't miss. No, so the, the Nab comes first. So you Nab one, and then create a Warning Shot. So the Nab one, and then create a Warning Shot. It used to be the other way around. The Nab used to come second. It used to just, it used to create a Warning Shot, and then if you hit the Allegiance, you Nab one. Doing a decent job fighting through this, but we are only at seven life, so you know if they do have like Riptide Rex and stuff like that again, that will be a difficult. They have two of my cards. No, no, just one of one of my cards now, because they use that Zenith Blade. So they have one of my cards. They have a fr this card is whatever uh, Warden's Prey created. I unfortunately can't play a dragon and have single combats. I can't play like this dragon and have single combats. So. If I I could have single combat, single combat, Tiari. One single combat will level up Tarek. Do I go to the next turn? Starting your climb, Tiari. It's about time. I'll see you at the top. The, so the Tiari is important here because I need the Tiari to support first, and then the Tarek. So then it will level up. So Tiari will level up Tarek. Why? Why, why, why? Um, Alright, I guess we just... Single combat that, single combat that. So if we could have gone to attacks, playing the Tiari was important because we need to have the Tiari support first, then Tarek would level up, and then T Tarek would support the Fiora, and then it would give them both where they can't die or take damage this round, and so then the Fiora would be able to challenge without taking being able to take damage or die. Um, so I can attack for 10, <clears throat> and then my things don't die to a Riptide Rex. Or I could just go, like, Bright Steel Protector first. No, nah, I guess we just do this. Yeah, yeah, we just attack. Because I say, we don't get to remove anything. But I guess we have Infinite Mind Splitter to... Come on, Captain Farron? <laughs> we just can't have anything go right for us, can we? Just what's the best possible card the opponent could have in, in Noxious and Build Water? They're gonna have it. No, Rex is not incoming. They're just casting two Decimates and killing me. <clears throat> There's no Rex. It's just Decimate, Decimate. We had a similar type matchup here. All right, gonna keep a concerted strike because that can be really, really important in in uh, these kind of games. These Zenith blades have looked horrendous. Zenith blade has looked horrendous. Can we replace Zenith blade? Yeah, we can. can we play like Repost instead. Yeah, I should just replace Zenith blade with <clears throat> something else. Prismatic Barrier, Repost, something that does something. Just slow speed, just a little bit of overwhelm. Looked her horrendous. So Zenith Blade does work like well with these dragons, right? But like we just haven't gotten to the point like where we get any dragons out. Like it works well with like Radiant Guardian and dragons. And it works really well with Taric. 
we just haven't really gotten to that point of the games. Because how, how these games have played out of us never having units and my opponents killing my units right away, then then obviously the Zenith Blade doesn't do anything. So like there there are times for Zenith Blade. I just feel okay, so I just I took my time there. I just feel like I'm gonna play like this is a trap. I'm gonna play my Fiora and they're gonna kill my Fiora. Maybe not. <clears throat> we need a lot more Pale Cascades in our deck. We've only seen one Pale Cascade in five games. And that's that's the not acceptable number. We need a lot more Pale Cascades in our deck. There we go. What's up, Pale Cascade? So, of course, not attacking, having them waste their mana. This kind of matchup's all about board control. Hey, Boot, thanks for that resub for almost 50 months now. 49 months. Over four years. Been here since day one. That deserves some foil hype boats. Thank you so much, Boot. I expecting like repost. Right, so I probably shouldn't block. Because <clears throat> I block they um they repost. So by not blocking, I'm not allowing them to cast the repose. Yeah. The damage isn't too important in this matchup. Again, it's it's about board control. For the honor of House no Olga. So anything they want to play, I have responses. Still have four mana. All right, I like Enviolus Vox here. They don't have a great challenge. The best card they could have would be another Repost. If they have another Repost, then that's kind of problematic, and they get to kill something. Okay, because yeah, if they challenge my Screeching Dragon, then. That'd be my Screeching Dragon killing something. And therefore we draw another dragon. Pretty confident we're going to be winning this game. They've used so many spells so far to try to help control this board and um, you know, we just haven't. Let's grow the Vox. Yeah. Could play another Concerted Strike, but I'd rather have have a little bit more mana, get like a Fiora in play also. Yep. GG's. Alright, finished up with a win against an another Fiora deck. Alright, so that shows that, you know, last time we played this deck we went 5-0. <laughs> and now we played it again and we went 1-4. That shows there is just, you know, a good amount of variance in these games. Um, we had, you know, one game where we 
had nothing to play the whole time, so it didn't do anything. We had a couple other games where the opponent had every single really good answer, like, you know, just throw out a Noxus or Bilgewater card that was perfect. That's what they had. They just kind of got ran over with, a, with another one. Um, so we have 13 spells. We have... Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 larger units. So half our deck, over half our deck are spells or expensive units. So it is kind of hard to have have the good curve out. We we did a lot better of having that curve out. And, and War Chefs makes a big difference because we saw like having, t whenever you play Tiari, Tiari is going to die a lot easier than War Chefs. So it's harder to keep the War Chefs around. The Zenith Blade didn't look good. And these regions do have a lot of good tricks. Um, I could definitely see... So I, th I think I'd want to take out the Zenith Blade. And we're talking about like Repost, maybe. But honestly, I kind of want to keep the mana down. Maybe just Guiding Touch is the way to go. It's another way to get more card draw. It still works pretty well of like saving the dragons. Um, it, I mean, it's amazing against Ravenous Flocks. Like basically against like the Bilgewater Noxus decks, Guiding Touch is going to be a lot better of... They, they try... They have to like do a little bit of damage with one thing and then finish you off with something else. Um, so Guiding Touch can be awesome there. It can also help heal your Nexus against burn cards. Maybe that's a that's a place to go here instead of those Zenith Blades that really didn't do very much. Um, even with Taric, you get to you can turn um, Guiding Touch into a draw too. Um, so I like I like that. Ranger's Resolve is, yes, Ranger's Resolve is another option, but I, I think I like the Guiding Touch more, um, how it can counter Ravenous Flock, it can draw cards, it can heal your Nexus. You need to, definitely need to do a better job of drawing Radiant Guardian against Bilgewater. It's kind of what the Radiant Guardian's in here for, is to be amazing against Bilgewater. Didn't have that card ever. I'm still fairly confident in this deck. I know we just went one and four, but I'm still fairly confident in the deck. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I am. I think that we had a lot of awful luck, but I, and I think that this could be a really good change. Uh, yeah, so let's let's change that out. All right, so there we go. There's Fiora Dragons. Our first look at Tiari instead of War Chefs. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave any comments. Let me know. I know that uh, last time when I ever played the deck, I got a lot of comments from people saying they've been ranking up with this deck. Let me know how it's going for you. If you, you know, if you're still playing it, how's it going? Um, that kind of stuff. You know, like without War Chefs, you know, try Tiari. Maybe try Guiding Touch in here. Let me know how those cards are going for you. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Fiora Dragons, and I'll see you for the next video.